Whereas Camden's actually going to be your closest point to get to the city. And that's going to be your least expensive place to live in all of our area. Yeah. Yeah. So it's actually different. We have several calls a day from people just like you looking to move into New Jersey and that would like to work with our real estate team. We would love to be the team that you choose. So please just find our contact information in the description below and reach out anytime. I'm so excited to have my good friend Cindy on our channel. Um, I know that when a lot of our clients are looking to move, um, really anyone, if you just want to get to know our area better, but a lot of clients, when they move from out of state or from out of the area, they're often looking in my area of New Jersey and also in Cindy's area where she is in Ambler in, in Montgomery County. Yeah. Um, especially a ton of these people may be working in the sit in Philadelphia or they're looking, they're, to get out of, they're looking to get out of the city and they're not sure where out of the city. Do they want to go out of the city to Montgomery County to a single family home there? Or do they want to go out of the city over the bridge to New Jersey? And funny enough, I mean, Cindy is in Pennsylvania where Philadelphia is and I'm in New Jersey, but we're about the same distance to get yeah, right yeah. So yeah. we often have clients on both sides of the bridge. So we thought we would just tell you a little more about both sides so you can pick yeah. for yourself. So yeah. welcome yeah. Cindy. Welcome Cindy. So, um, yeah, so thanks for coming. And I know you are mainly, I know you work all of Montgomery County. You've been doing it for a long time, long top time. agent in your area. Right. So, yeah. Um, I've been doing it um, a really long time and I do uh, mostly Montgomery County, but I also do Bucks, Chester, Delaware counties and uh, Philadelphia as well. Okay. Awesome. So you're really familiar with all the surrounding areas right there. Yep. Yeah. yeah. So um, awesome. So where you are in Ambler, you talk to me a little bit about what your, what your area is like. It's single family homes. Is it Talk to me a little bit about it. So Ambler is a little, like you almost feel like you've gone back in time. It's like a little fashion town with lots of restaurants and stores and boutiques. And then um, the borough itself is surrounded by older, smaller homes. Um, and then the surrounding uh, area beyond that are the bigger, larger estate homes. So you really can get anything that you're looking for. You can get, you know, a small town home or a small single up to an estate on a few acres. All right. So then what are the price ranges then? If I'm, if I have a lower budget, then what's the, the maybe the least amount I'd be able to find a home and what would mm -hmm. that look like? I mean, you're if, for a fixer upper, you're probably in the 300 range. Um, okay, so a smaller home. So you're not really getting in there for less than 300,000. Uh, I, I mean, you really, you, probably could, but it would be hard to. Yeah. So I would say that the average price in the borough is probably 400. Um, and then the average price in the surrounding Ambler is probably more like 900. Got it. Okay. So you're somewhere in like the four to a million dollar. That's kind of the range. Yeah. So how about those estates you were talking about? What What is an estate going to be like there? Uh, well, an estate um, is actually, it's an Ambler mailing address. It's Lower Gwinnett Township. Um, people love it because it's one, actually one of the most desirable townships in the county. Um, you're, I mean, to get a home on an acre, probably like a 5,000 square foot home, you're, you're probably pushing 2 million for Got something it. like that. Yeah. Awesome. But you're really close to the town. So that's why people like it because they can just, you know, it's like a three minute car ride to the town to to all the great restaurants and stuff. Got it. So you're, you have space, you're spread out, you have a large piece of property, but you're still right there to get right into a nice restaurant or something like that. Yeah. What's yeah. your favorite restaurant there? Uh, well, there's so many. Um, I probably would say Gypsy um, or Bridget's. We actually just bought a, one of the smaller homes in the borough so we could actually walk to these places. Okay. So um, we go there all the time. And um, they, there are so many great restaurants in Ambler. And wow. the train station is right there. Um, we literally can walk to the train station and you're in, in downtown Center City in 26 minutes. So if you worked in the city, that's probably how you would get there. You wouldn't drive. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, because to drive down there into Center City, you're probably looking at more like 40, 45 minutes just because of the traffic. 
but um, there is a train station right in Ambler and there's a train station right in Lower Gwinnett. And I've sold numerous homes to doctors that work at the, uh, the hospitals downtown in Lower Gwinnett because they can actually walk to the train station and go right into, into the town. Right. Into so the they don't want to worry about driving the 45 minutes and then parking their car and all of that that goes with it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that, that makes sense. I know how parking is in the city. So yeah. great. So the, you talked about all the little restaurants. What's that downtown area like? Is there little boutiques? Is there, oh, yeah. what's it? Talk yeah, about it's, like you, you really feel like you've been, you go back, you've been flashback into time, like into the like fifties, there's hardware stores and little boutiques and a, a, like a movie theater that has two screens on it and um, little ice cream parlors and stuff. But then there's a lot of restaurants and bars and they have a first Friday where they shut down the streets um, the first Friday of every month and they have live bands playing and the whole, you know, everybody walks up and down and people bring their tables and whatnot. And uh, it's fun. It's really a fun little town. It's kind of like a, you know, flash of the past. That's awesome. So that sounds similar to like our Haddonfield or Collingswood. So we have like those little downtowns and you have all the little restaurants you can walk to. Although those towns are dry here. Is it a dry town in Ambler? It is a very not dry. <laughs> <laughs> very awesome. And they actually let you take your drinks and walk the, the streets. Oh, you're allowed to do that? On First Fridays. On First Fridays. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, they shut down both ends of the street and you can just, you, they actually, the, the uh, restaurants bring tables out into the streets with a few of their dishes and their specialty alcohol drinks. And Oh just, my gosh. Well, yeah. can we pick a first Friday? Cause I'm going to come there and with Brian and we'll sit down and have. So fun. Yeah. That sounds like a lot of fun. Yeah. Um, and so do they do like other things like festivals, parades? Okay. I'm guessing they do all that kind of stuff. They do all kinds of festivals and everything. Yeah. Yeah. So it's really great for any lifestyle then. If you're kind of a young, you know, young, you know, professional or whatever you want to live there, it, that would be a fun time. Also, it sounds like a great spot for families if they have, you know, kids and a dog. Yeah, they, they can just walk to town and, and enjoy everything. Yeah, and, and I think that that's why it's so desirable because you do have a good mix of everything. Plus, it's like so close to so many of the big places that you would go. We are um, less than two hours from New York City, the New Jersey beaches and Baltimore, and we're two and a half hours from Washington, DC, and we're an hour and 15 minutes from the Poconos. So you can like get to all of these big areas that people go to in two hours. Right, so beaches, so if you wanna ski, beach, city, farms, if you wanna do it towards a rural area, apple picking, you can literally do anything. Yeah. Yeah, because Lancaster is only about an, an hour and a half away where all the Amish are to go, you know, out to the farms and stuff. So it's really a very convenient, like a very convenient area. Awesome. And then what if, what about like jumping over to Target or any, that's all right there too, right? Like how yeah. far from Target? Yeah, they have their, um, so they don't have like the big box stores like Target, Walmart right in town because they have like the little hardware stores and, you know, their own little version of their uh um, pharmacies and stuff. Um, they have farm to table, uh, grocery stores and things. So it's probably, you're probably looking at a 15, maybe 10 to 15 minute drive to one of the big, big box places. So that's amazing though. They don't have any of that. They really want to encourage you to go to the the town yeah. places. There's no, not even like a big box grocery store. You said. No, nope, there isn't. And they used to have a McDonald's, but they knocked it down. So there are no fast food places in town. A lot of little cafes and coffee shops and things like that. No fast food places. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah. But still, you said 10, 15 minutes. So we're not talking about like, you're not removed from, you know, commercialized, commercialization and the commercial big stores, but you are not, you're not living within them either. So no shopping okay, centers. Exactly. There's no shopping centers. There's it's no. Mm -mm. Yeah, that's no shopping centers. Um, yeah, no, no big, big parking lots anywhere. In fact, that can be a little bit of a problem <laughs> is finding parking. Got so it. that that's probably one of the challenges of the town is parking. So especially if you want to go like maybe on a Saturday night down to those restaurants, would parking be a yeah. problem? 
Um, it, it can be a challenge that the uh, train station though has a huge parking lot. So, and, and the train station is a lot of commuters, so they're not there on the weekends. So it's, it. it does, it's not that big of a problem, but it's one of the reasons that we bought that we can walk to town. So we don't have to worry about that. You have to worry and it's about easy it. to do. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. Um, so awesome. So it sounds, it really does sound, like I said, a lot like our little Haddonfield area. And then I know for us, Haddonfield's the same, but it's only one square mile. So Haddonfield's really small. I'm not sure how big Ambler is. The borough is very small. The town itself is probably only five or six blocks long. Got it. Yeah. So it's, it's, it probably is very much like Haddonfield. It's very much like Haddonfield. And then I just know on the outskirts of Haddonfield, that's what I want to hear about with Ambler then there's all the towns surrounding are, then you went back to the real world again. You're not back in the old world anymore. Right. You're back in the real world and it's just right next door. So yeah. what are your closest neighboring towns? Is that what it's like there? Yeah, there, there are, um, like you can be in Montgomeryville in probably 12 minutes and that's where the mall is and all the big stores and restaurants are. Um, and then there is, uh, I mean, you can go to another town like um, Ambler, it's Conshohocken, which is 12 minutes the other way. So it's kind of like the same thing. But most of the surrounding areas of the borough are more residential neighborhoods. Got it. So you if know, you wanted to go shopping to a mall, you would go to Montgomeryville Mall or would you go to King of Prussia? Yeah. Prussia is only 18 minutes away. Got it. And that's one of the biggest malls in the, in the country. So, and that's only 18 minutes away. So it's very close to, so I would go Got to King of Prussia. Right. Yeah. yeah. So here for Haddonfield or Haddon Heights or Collingswood, we have some of the small shops, same way, small hardware store, boutiques, um, all, you know, personally owned small shops. And then we have the Cherry Hill Mall, which is about the same distance, probably about 10 minutes away. So if you wanted to go to the Cherry Hill Mall, or we have a lot of um, like outdoor shopping areas, like you know, where we'll have like a Nordstrom Rack, a DSW. And then a lot of times that's accompanied by a chain. Maybe it'll be like a Cheesecake Factory, a Redstone, mm -hmm. Athleta will be there and all of that stuff. So I think that it looks very similar in your area. Yeah. Which yeah, is why really buyers are often torn between which place to live in, right? Because yeah. it is very similar. So we talked a little bit about average price. So average sales price. If people are looking in, in Ambler, where else are they also looking? They're looking at, like, if you have a buyer, are they specifically looking in Ambler or they might be looking in some other towns? I mean, if they want a walkable town, they're looking in Ambler, Conshohocken, maybe Skipac, because those towns are all walkable. But if you're more district, which a lot of people around here focus on the school district, um, Ambler is half in Wissahickon School District and half in Upper Dublin School District. So you're looking... Um, the surrounding areas of Lower Gwinnett, Bluebell, um, Fort Washington, uh, Maple Glen areas all around. Also. People tend to have, if they're looking for school district, do they tend to have a preference on which part of Ambler? Um, no, because both Upper Dublin and Wissahickon are uh, Blue Ribbon Award winning schools. Um, Upper Dublin, the taxes are a little bit higher. So they, they may tend to go more for the Wissahickon just because of that. Got it. So if they're, if they're looking at taxes um, and yeah. that's why they would do that. Yeah. Awesome. So also very similar to here that our school districts, a lot of them are all award winning, but just from town to town or even street to street, sometimes you're, you're in a totally different school system. So it's a lot to pay attention to. So if you're moving from out of area, you want to know an agent that really does understand the differences in the school districts and can help okay. guide you the right way. Often, if we have people moving within the area or within the county, then they're more specific because they may already have children in the school. So yeah. then you have to also know that your agent has to know exactly where where you can go, right? Yeah, yeah and um, I mean, it's what we find too is in these smaller towns, people tend not to move out of the town. Right now, there are literally two houses in the entire borough for sale. Wow. Two houses. How many offers are on them? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> we had one. They were for sale before this video started. No, we had one that had 73 showings and 24 offers. It's crazy. That's what it's like here. It's still very low inventory, highly desirable. So there's just, you know, and there's not a lot of option. So yeah. awesome. What is, is there anything else you didn't talk about? Something that your favorite part or um, 
maybe an activity or history, something we haven't talked about that you'd like to share? Um, I just, I mean, I think that for, for me, the reason that I ended up there was just for the convenience of everything and the fact that I could be in this small town and literally hop on the train and be in center city in 26 minutes, which you have everything at your fingertips right there. I mean, we can be to the stadiums in, you know, half an hour and, um, to, to Camden to go to a concert, you know, there, uh, within a half an hour, it just, it, it's so convenient with having that train right there in the, in town. Right. So that's for us too, the same thing. So we have the Patco and we have two areas you can get the Patco if you're in Collingswood or if you're in Haddonfield um, or Cherry Hill, any of those areas, you're going to get to the city just as quick. Yeah. And we're also all going, so we live almost on the, on opposite ends and the city's in the middle. Yeah. And it's the same convenience. We're still going to go to concerts in Camden and we're going to catch the train into the city. It's going to take around the same amount of time. And then we're going to enjoy a little more outside the city feel, you know, because it's, it's definitely a different vibe to live right in Center City. Oh, yeah. You have to really want to, to be like, not have a car, walk, you know, pay for parking if you do have a car. So it's very different. But really interesting. That's why I wanted to do this video because... <laughs> You're really going to decide as a buyer, sometimes buyers will tend to go towards the PA side. They're going to pay a little less for the home, most likely. Yeah. And then, pay, or pay more for the home. I'm sorry. They're yeah. going to pay a little more for the home and less for the taxes. Less for the taxes. That's what I was going to and say. Here, they're going to pay a little less for the home and more for the taxes. <laughs> yeah. So you're going to still have the same, uh, uh, you're still going to have the same payment. What is your average price range in your area? It really depends. So if you go to like Morristown or Haddonfield, you're going to be around the $700,000, 600000 up to a couple million. Yeah. So kind of like you guys, and then you can go to some other areas where you may get something for 300000 or even lower, depending on, on the area. So it's very uh, diverse. Okay. So, and I think it's like that for you guys too, That's right? It's exactly the same. Yeah. It's exactly the same. So it just depends on the needs of the person. So if they need a larger house at a lower price point, they're likely going to go to somewhere, you know, they're going to go to uh, Belmar or Audubon or Haddon Heights possibly. And if they're looking for, you know, the number one school district and they're okay with paying a little more, they're going to go to Haddonfield or Morristown. Yeah. Um, and then Marlton, Cherry Hill, Medford, Med there's a lot of areas right in the middle too. So pretty much, honestly, you can get to anywhere from both of our locations and yeah. You can find something in every price range in both of our locations. Which yeah, is, I'm sure it works the same way over there that it does here. The further out you go from the city, the less, the more house you're getting for your money. The, the more less house you're place. getting for your money. Yes. Yes and no here, I would say. Because oh, really? that would be one of our higher um, price points and you're going to get more land there. Yeah. You're going to be a little farther, but it's not going to be the least expensive. Whereas Camden's actually going to be your closest point to get to the city. And that's going to be your least expensive place right. to live in all of our area. Yeah. Yeah. So it's actually different. Yeah. Here, here it is. You can tell the closer you get to the city, the prices just keep going up and up and up. Yeah. So, um, but it's convenience to the city. None of a, not, none of the places that I really service are too, too far from the city, unless you go down towards like the Gloucester County side or something. Yeah. But um, yeah. Awesome. So, well, thanks so much for doing this, Cindy. It's always fun chatting with you. Yeah. It's been great. All right. Talk to you soon. Okay. Bye. Hey guys, this is Mary Murphy. And if this is your first time visiting this channel and you want to learn everything there is to know about living in New Jersey, then click the like button, hit subscribe and click the little bell so you can be notified every time we release a new video.